Keeping with the Halloween theme, I am joined by Aaron Piper and Sarah from uh, Artworks Fine Art yeah. right here in Bethesda. You're going to share all your tips and tricks on getting the perfect pumpkin painting with us. I am, I am. So here we have some examples of different forms of pumpkins you can paint. These are all faux pumpkins, but you are more than welcome to paint on real pumpkins, yeah. faux pumpkins, whatever now, you, know, you prefer. Is there a difference um, in the type of paint you use when you're doing faux versus real? No, no. Okay. Actually, you want to always use acrylic paints okay. um, for either one. And the, the big difference is the real pumpkin, pumpkin is going to rot on you, you know? So yep. especially if you have a small apartment, you can't store things, that would be the way to go. Okay. And it's a fun activity. Um, and then you could just kind of compost it and give it back. But um, these you can use year after year. You can yeah. even use them like if you have something, you know, kind of like this design here, you can use it throughout the year, you know, oh, for yeah, our for decoration. Sure. Now, can you paint over these? If you, I want to yeah. use these over and over again and I want to do a different design? Great question. Yes. So that's kind of the nice thing about the faux pumpkin is you can paint over it and do a different design each year. You freehanded these. I did. I Just did. a little bit of talent in these pictures <laughs> right here. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. <laughs> do you um, walk me through the steps? Do you sketch it out first? Do you just say, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, what, do you, yep. what do you do? So we actually have some painters right here. Um, and what you want to do is usually use a pencil just in case you make a mistake. Everyone okay. makes mistakes, you know, when drawing. And so usually I'll just sketch out the design on the pumpkin and then use kind of the acrylic paints to just paint it on. Is it hard to clean up mistakes when you're doing it like this? Um, not really. I mean, if you catch it quickly, you can just kind of like wipe your it paper off. towel and wipe okay. it off. Um, if it dries, you would just need to paint over it. Is it easier to paint? Um, uh, than carve pumpkins. What, what do you guys uh, think? A hundred percent easier? Yeah. What do you think, Sarah? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you guys like about what, uh, painting these? Um, I'm not sure. She's like, because my mom told me to. <laughs> <laughs> what's your design? A bunch of flowers. Okay, what's yours? A bunch of flowers. Oh, okay. Did you guys plan that, coordinate it? Yes. All right. Uh, what else do people need to know? So we are actually hosting a painting workshop this weekend. Yeah. If anyone wants to join us, they can register um, online. And it's a great way just to get, you know, like try it yeah. one dip time. Yeah, dip your feet in. Dip your feet in a little bit and you don't have to purchase all the materials. Um, it's all provided for oh, you. Oh, that's so. perfect. Okay, we were talking about this before. Uh, I've always wanted to get into painting, but I can't really commit to like a weekly, weekly class right now. Yep. So you offer both. Um, mm -hmm. Your kids' classes start at age six. Yep. Adults go up. You had a 99-year-old? We had a 99-year-old one time. Okay. Um, so all ages, six and up. Yeah. Um, that's for our classes, for our workshops. Um, again, all ages mostly but we'll you know depending on the workshop sometimes it's a little bit older sometimes it's a little bit younger um, but this the pumpkin painting workshop is for all ages do we need to have any prior skill no no we will <laughs> teach everything and um, mistakes are your friend you know you can make happy mistakes and, yeah you know just change it so there's no wrong you know in art you where know, do you where do you find the learning curve is the steepest for folks that that have never picked up a paintbrush before you know I think that they're just worried about making a mistake yeah uh, the whole time you know and just you you gotta let go, and if you make a mistake, who cares? You it's know, not gonna be perfect. Over it. Yep. Just. It's probably better if it's not perfect. Exactly, exactly. It's always better, actually, when you make little mistakes, yeah. you can turn it into something else, or just start over, you know, it's it's totally fine. Okay, where are you guys located? So we are both in Bethesda and Potomac. Um, we have two locations, and um, the Bethesda one will be holding the painting workshop, pumpkin painting workshop, this weekend. And how can people get more information? Uh, our website, it's www.artworksclasses.com. Okay, and look at this. In, in the time that we were talking, you guys have already finished with these beautiful creations. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Okay, I'm going to take my jacket off and get my hands dirty after nice. this. Uh, thank you guys so much for being thank with you. us. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. This is so much fun. Yeah. All right.